What's up everyone today? I'll be using my brand new BFS setup right here. This is Surinoya, Surinoya XF50 and this is their ultralight bait casting rod. The goal of today is to catch some crappies using Marabou jigs. This is 116 ounce. I'm going to be throwing this without the float first but I had the float on because that's the only float I have so hopefully I don't lose it. But uh, my goal is to be able to cast this whole setup 116 ounce on this bait caster to have good distance to go catch crappies. So yeah, let's see if we can catch some crappies using this BFS setup. All right guys, water conditions, 44 degrees. Not too bad, it should be warming up. It's in the morning right now. It's uh, almost probably 10 o'clock, early March. First cast. Not too bad. So yeah, I think with these brushes and stuff like that, I'm probably better off floating my jig over it. That's good distance with the BFS. It's smooth too, very smooth. I'm using six pound test line floral coat. Should be using four pound test line, but the reason I'm using six pound test line is because one, there's uh, pick rolls here. And then two, um, I actually unspooled my casking because uh, I had a casking Spartacus that I'm using for big, uh, BFS as well. And I want to put four pound test line on there and do some testing. Four pound test line is the way to go. You get your distance easier. It's only three feet of water here. Water temp right now is uh, 45 degrees. So uh, this side's warming up. I believe that side over there is the north side of the lake. And that, that's where people say the, the most, right? Yeah, that's what they say around the winter. But uh, water is also feeding in there. So that also changes it up. Fish on. Look at that. First fish with the BFS. That is awesome. Holy smokes. It's a bluegill. Ooh. Oh, look at that. On a hair jig and a float. Very interesting about these speckles here on them. Uh, they're probably parasites. Oh well, in you go. Don't want to eat the fish here. I don't know where the fish are at. I'll be quite honest, but there's a drop off here. So I went back to casting and retrieving. My goal is to look for the active fish instead because it doesn't seem like they're schooling in one spot for fish. So we'll see. Hopefully I'll catch something soon. Fish on, fish on. Whoa, is that a big bass or a big pickerel? Oh, it's a bass, it's a bass, it's a bass. Oh, BFS, oh, steps in the deep water. Oh, steps, big, 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 oh, pig, pig. Dude! Oh, Steps! Dude! Dude! Dude, dude, dude. Stay on, stay on. It's, it's a mama. It's a mama. Yes! <laughs> dude! Look at this! Look at this mama! Look at this mama! Holy smokes! This has gotta be like a four, four pounder! Holy smokes, man! Holy smokes! Dude! Look at this. Oh darn, this is so much fun with the BFS. Oh my lord, she is pre-spawning. Look at the belly. Look at that. Holy smokes, guys. Oh, oh, oh. that is a huge mouth. Huge mouth. Got a cradle of the belly. Oh man. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. Dude, look at this, bro. Damn, bro, that's a healthy fish. All right, guys. In she goes. In she goes. Fish. Ooh, look at the lateral line on that one. Yeah. Dude, look at this leech that was on her. Pretty. Look at this. Oh no, the leech just fell, but oh, it was on me. <laughs> but yeah, let's start fishing here, man. The deep water. Man, guys, this is fun. Fishing with this BFS right here for a big bass. Oh man, that rod tip. That was fun. Really fun. So yeah, I took off the, the float. And I was just casting, trying to just comb for fish because I just was not having any luck with uh, sitting with the float. And just combing the water. I thought I snagged something at the bottom, but basically I was just so reeling. Early in season, you don't have to pump it just because of jig. You don't have to jig it like crazy, anything like that. All you do is just retrieve it very slowly. And occasionally you twitch it because the problem is, you see this right here? The only reason why I twitch, and I don't twitch a lot, is because I want to keep it off the bottom. Keep it off those algae and that's how I catch my fish here. 
Alright, let's we'll switch switch it up. See if we can find some pickerels. I got my jerk bait with a propeller. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Oh snap. That is awesome. Propeller! Dude, that is sick. <clears throat> Whoa, got him. Oh no, he came off. He came off. Oh man, that was a nice pickerel. Fish on, oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, okay. What do I got here? What do I have here? Oh no, it's bending my rod all the way down. Oh no, it's gotta be a pickerel. Holy smokes, he just snapped my line. Holy smokes. So guys, back to the magic color right there. It's black with some chartreuse on it. That's magic. I gave my buddy one color or two. Same one. He just caught his first crappie. You guys need a tutorial on how to tie the marabou jig. Check out the top right hand corner, but make sure you guys get black and chartreuse. All right guys, so I got a thicker leader line. Material does 20 pounds, and it's actually not a bad thing because it's thicker and it's gonna go through the water column a lot slower, so I don't need to hit the bottom as quick. So my goal is to get that giant pickerel. <laughs> Let's see if we get a pickerel, or maybe get a South Jersey slam. So I got bluegill, I got a bass. I lost two pickerels, and uh, my buddy's got a crappy. So the crappies should be around here too. Yeah, I just need, I need a crappy, pickerel, and that's four. Huh, I wonder if I can get one here. That's gonna be interesting. Maybe a catfish or a perch? Let's see it. Oh! The rod tip just went off. Oh man. Bummer. Boom! Got him! <laughs> what is it? I have no idea. What is it? It's a pickerel. He's not getting off this time. Hopefully. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There he goes. There he goes. Woohoo! Yeah, baby. Pickerel. The other one was a lot bigger because I saw the whole thing, like the, the side a little bit. And uh, yeah. Oh man, his stomach is a little big. All right. There he goes. Fish on, fish on. Oh yeah. Oh man, another pickerel. Woo! Look at that rod bend. All right, Mr. Pickerel. Here you go. Oh, I got stumped. Hey, is it good to know where the stumps are at because you never know. Could be good fishing next time. Yeah, I got a stump. Ooh, nice, cleared it out. Got me excited for a second. Oh, fish on? Fish on. Fish on. Oh, it's a good bass. Fish on. Two, three feet of water. Three feet of water, guys. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna put, pull him in. Bam, look at his mouth. It's red lips. But look at this belly. Look at that belly. This is it, man. The hair jigs. Thank you. Oh, he didn't really, he wasn't hooked all the way. 
I couldn't set the hook. <laughs> oh man. In you go. Seems like the fish are semi deep. Now, the surface is 48.7, but doesn't mean all the water is uh, that warm. So it's gonna take a few days before the whole water column warms up. And this is the time of year to go out, guys. You can't just wait till it actually happens. You gotta go as it's happening because when those fish, depending every single location, you know, has its own different conditions, right? So you gotta go out and look for those fish. If you don't, you're gonna miss the, the perfect timing. The fish don't wait, man. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video because uh, there's gonna be a lot more BFS fishing this year. So if you like it, make sure to leave me a comment below. Let me know what, what species you want me to target with this new awesome BFS setup. Oh, 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 dude. And I'm talking about closing out my, whatchamacallit, and I got my first crappie of the day. Oh man. I guess, uh, maybe I'll keep going. I'll keep going for a little bit. Yes. Ow. All right. Got to do a, a screenshot, I guess. BFS baitcaster. There you go. That should do it. All right. Got it right in the nose. Out you go. Oh, oh, from behind, from behind. Crappy, crappy, look at this slab. Slabzilla. Thank you, thank you. Whoa, 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 easy. Look at that, boys. This is what I'm talking about. Are you still on the hair jig? Always on a hair jig, buddy. Nothing else. All right, in you go, buddy. Fish on, look at that. Got another one. Oh yeah. Oh, it's a yellow perch. Yo, he's. Guys, you would not believe this fat chunk. Look at this stomach. Holy smokes. This is huge. I mean, I I'm so sorry guys, I lost it. I lost the catching part, but uh, yeah, the I could get an SD card error using a Sandus. I think I'm gonna swap back to my Samsung SD card, but man, look at this. This thing is a beauty. Gotta make sure I get this. Look at that. Look at this. Look at that stomach. Oh no, 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 no. It's gonna fly out. It's gonna hurt me. There we go. Yeah, it's a beautiful perch. Holy smokes. So freaking. Like I know. All right, let's get this female back in because it has a lot of eggs, likely. But man, that's good. That's good. They're about to spawn. Uh, oh man. Nice one, man. Thank you. Thank you. This is my first yellow perch I ever caught in here. Yeah. yeah. I knew they're in here, just never caught one. So I got a bluegill, bass, crappy, pickerel, yellow perch. Dude, that's the slam right here. I did it. Dude, I did it. Holy smokes, man. Dude, it's pulling you. I, I can see your kayak's moving. Pickerel, bass? All right, just take your time. Bro, it's turning you a lot. I'm watching you being turned. I'm watching you being turned, bro. All right. That's a huge one. Ooh. There we go. Nice. Oh, he's about to. He's about to. You better not lip him. You better not lip him. He's grabbing by the head. <laughs> by the head, bro. Got it, right there. Boom. Clamp on. Nice. Oh, yo, this is a big fish. Nice. Very nice. All right, folks. I got to call it. It's uh, getting late in the day. The wind picked up and stayed constant. Uh, but one thing for sure is when the water temperature got up, it reached to 47 to about 48 degrees depending where I'm fishing at. And the fish did pick up compared to the morning. 
And guys, that's what I'm trying to say. The fish don't wait. It's all about, you know, the right temperature, the cold blooded. You can't just say, oh, today's a cold day. Don't go out and fish. But well, later in the day, it warms up. So you gotta spend your time out there, catch some fish. But man, I really love this BFS, the Surinoya Baitcaster. Yeah, this is my first time taking it out for some nice action. Can't believe I caught nice bass. I lost a big pickerel, caught a beautiful, beautiful yellow perch. But uh, if you guys wanna see more BFS fishing, you know, leave me a comment below. Until next time, peace out.